Okay, uh, this... so ah, yes, okay. Oh, it's for me. Thank you. <laughs> for us. <laughs> well, so uh, let me congratulate you, João, for your presentation and for your um, uh, statement on, on finning. Uh, so what do you think uh, it will be the next step for, for Portugal in the question of finning? Ah, that's a, a, a very good question and not an easy one. Yeah. Well, um, we have um, a lot to do, especially where um, um, enforcing is concerned. Um, the law is there. Uh, we have all the necessary law at this point. Um, Feening is illegal. So we've done all the lobbying we had to do and we've got the laws that we need. Now we just need to... Um, make sure that it doesn't happen in, you know, out there in the sea. Um, as we mentioned before, it's not just working with the fishermen, it's really all working as well with the consumers. And um, in this case, the consumers are distant because shark fin soup is not really a, a thing here. I mean, it, it costs one euro 20 at any Chinese restaurant, so it's not real shark fin soup, you know, the real shark fin soup costs $200. So anyway, the market is not really here. So the best we can do is really work in cooperation with Wild Aid and so many other organizations that are really working hard with the, with the public, the, the consumers, mostly in Asia, to stop this. There's been some, some good progress. Uh, you know, there, there's a tendency in these issues Everything is just so gloomy and dark and scary. But there's actually been some good progress. For example, the Chinese government uh, no longer offers shark fin soup at any official um, banquet. So that, that's off. Uh, quite a few airlines have um, uh, banned shark fins from, from their air freight. So they, they refuse to move it. And uh, quite a few hotel chains have also pulled out um, shark fin soup from the menu. So slowly but surely, we like to think that things are heading in the right direction. On the other hand, we all know that um, the China, and I'm going to talk in very simplistic terms, but the Chinese middle class is, is uh, on the rise, and, and rightfully so. I mean, uh, you know, we here in the West, Europe, North America, Australia, we've enjoyed a very well, luxurious lifestyle for so long, and of course the rest of the world is catching up, and deservedly so. So the the need for shark fin, which used to be a very uh, luxurious item only for you know the top of the pyramid, is now becoming more and more available. So there's those those two factors. So we're kind of racing against time. We're doing the best we can, but at the same time, there's more and more consumers. So. It's not easy. Um, I'll just finish off by saying all of these campaigns, uh, social media have played a, a huge role. Um, people such as Suzanne and Liz, uh, you know, uh, filmmakers and people running organizations that coordinate efforts between multiple countries, which is, cannot be easy for sure, coordinating the activities of 24 countries. So all of this combined hopefully will make a difference. And, uh, and I would, I'll just really finish off by saying that um, collectively, I like to think that we as a species, as a group, are heading in the direction of really taking care of the environment. I think there's a lag in some areas of the world. Simply because, you know, we sort of, us, Europe, North America, we got there first and the rest of the world is sort of catching up. So rather than pointing fingers, I think we should just kind of help them, you know, get to this level of awareness that we have here um, and uh, the more we do on that level to really educate everybody and bring them to, to our speed, uh, the better. Because the, the trend I think, I like to think is, is a positive one and we're all more and more enlightened about these things.